Hello everybody, my name is Monish Malhotra and I'm a certified facilitator of Access Consciousness and Talk to the Entities. We're talking about stories of change and I've got a little story for you. About five years ago, I was living in India and I was not living a great life. I was not in a great spot. Basically, I was addicted to drugs and I was told I was mentally sick. Every new doctor I went to, they gave me a new label. Someone told me I had schizophrenia. Another one told me I had bipolar 2. Then the other one told me I had paranoid personality disorder. So the list kept growing on, growing on, growing on. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And on top of all of this, I had insomnia. Some days I will take 20 sleeping pills to try and sleep and it still wouldn't work. So I was, I was done. I was angry. I was frustrated. I used to just pray a lot that maybe someday it will change. And it wasn't. So it came to a point where I thought maybe I'll just die. So I tried to like stage my suicide a few times. Wanted to make it look like an accident because you know, my parents were already stressed. I was gay in, in a country where it's not acceptable. So I thought I'll just go silently and basically no one should just find out what really happened. So I tried to set my house on fire basically. It was a drug overdose with sleeping pills and what might have looked like a short circuit. And I thought I'll just like sort of char in the night and just find out what happens where I wake up. And then I did wake up and I thought I was in hell. Everything was burning. My bedroom was burning. And then I just like rubbed my eyes only to realize it was my bedroom. I hadn't gone anywhere. I just woke up in the middle of the fire. It was too hot. So <laughs> that's the day I sort of knew that, oh my goodness, that like, you know, dying like this is also not going to solve my problem. Maybe there is something else and I just don't know about it. And two days later, after this fire incident, somebody just called me to discuss a PR proposal about their business. And I went for a coffee meeting and I'm talking to this person and then suddenly like feeling vibrations and sensations of energy. I was like, are you like a spiritual person? Like I'm feeling some energy around you. What is this? And turns out this person was a facilitator of access consciousness. And that is the first time I'd heard about access consciousness. So long story short, I, I decided to do a session with this person. And honestly, at that time, I didn't even have the resource because I personally thought it was very expensive. She was charging, I think, $500 for an hour. And I was like, who pays this kind of money? Like, you know, I'm like a temple goer, prayer kind of a guy. My God does it for cheaper. Like, okay. But anyway, I, <laughs> I did that session and I thought it would be something airy fairy, whatever, but like we're having a conversation and I've been asked questions that I've never heard before. And one of the things that I noticed in this session is that this person asked me a question. I was intuitively res responding to questions as yes and no, which logically I'm not supposed to know any answers. And about 40 minutes into the session, this person asked me if I was aware of entities and demons and if I was like communicating to spirits. And when this person asked me the question, there was like this sense of quiet in my head, like everything became quiet. And after that, I don't remember what we talked about. It was a Thursday night and I just remember the facilitator left my house and I went to sleep. I didn't take any medicine and I woke up after 48 hours like a new person and I didn't need drugs after that. Insomnia went away, sleeping pills went away and just quiet started to follow and for the first time I realized that basically all my life I was looking in the wrong direction. I was so convinced that I was sick and I was so convinced that I was all alone and there was no solution to this problem. It used to be so bad because I'd be so stoned at night, I'd take pills and morning it would be so groggy. And it was so bad, it was so bad and I didn't really think it would change, anything could change it, like, oh my god, it was, it was so dark and so deep and it just came and like, it found me, it just, it came to our doorstep and like changed and offered a helping hand and I guess, yeah, I forget sometimes, but like that's, 
that's what Talk to the Energy did for me. And I wonder like how many people are actually looking for it and what's possible. So personally for me, Talk to the Entities tools have been such an incredible gift in terms of giving me my life, but not in a way that, okay, now you get to live a marginalized life because you are a survivor of drugs or like you, know, you get to let, live a lesser version of what should be available, but actually a better, a more thriving version of myself. I tried everything that was available in India. This was the one thing that just worked and it worked miraculously overnight within seconds and, and there was there was no fallback it's been four years and it keeps getting better and i'm asking how does it get any better than that <laughs>